What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 11 of Have a Nice Death. This is the latest entry in a series where I try to master the genre of gaming that typically gets the best of me and that of course is roguelites. In the last stream we were unsuccessful. We did face off with Time himself but we were unable to beat him. His melee tactics and melee attacks more specifically are just so unpredictable and they have incredible range so it makes it really tough to avoid taking damage even if you have max anima so I'm gonna do everything I can to get more and more practice facing off with him and try and adopt a more ranged approach so that we can survive and get the true ending so without further ado let's get started let's see if we got any discounts first what you got from me, Joe? Nothing. I don't feel like scrolling all the way down. Eminent breakdown difficulty. Joe's new stuff? Sure. Sign everything. So, first things first, Twinsy, of course. I love the Twinsy. It has great power, and it also has, I think, Dismemberment. Death and Dismemberment. Look at that. The counter is, like, maxed out. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. And the reason why I say that is because, um, I do like the Death and Dismemberment because when enemies have reached a certain, like, health threshold, this Scythe deals much more damage. So you can start melting health bars at the very end, and that's great for like high DPS, like really quick damage and aggressive playstyles. That's just kind of what I am. So it suits me fine. Tony, this is one of the most satisfying to look at games I have seen in a very long time. Uh, okay, termination, absolutely. What do I have? What does that even do? What what do I have? What am I using? <laughs> Dagust. You'll be blown away by their awesomeness. Okay, that's moving really fast. And the Javelin. Definitive proof that the Pylum is the best weapon to charge enemy. So it applies Pierce. That's cool, I guess. I don't remember what Pierce does. Uh, harasses the target with a blast of frantic blows. A poisoned metal whirlwind. Can I get hurt while I'm using that? Let's test it out. Let's test it out indeed. Vedum department. You know, if I don't really like, I don't, other than the javelin, I really honestly don't like the, the other one so much. If it gives me iframes, I might like it a lot. Uh, but we can go to some equipment storage rooms and all that stuff. I'm going to see if I can get hit. Okay. Well, it's kind of hard to when we're killing everybody in one hit, but. Love those slashes on termination. And guess what? We learned that any infusions that you apply to, any, I mean, whatever, doesn't even matter, to your weapon, they all apply to even the termination slashes, so it's really cool. Anybody else? It's strong against these guys, so I'm not gonna just lose it right now and be like, oh my gosh, these are the most OP weapons ever. I don't know, because I am fighting scrubs right now. So, these of course are cloak weapons. I was trying to go for a more ranged run, that which would you know, rely a little bit more heavily on spells. Um, but, I guess we can use cloaks for now, since hey, we got some new stuff from Joe. Let's give it a shot. Uh, Curse reroll, intriguing for, oh, the vault. Hmm. The vault's really just going to give us like ingots or something, you know. Probably should have gone for something else, but that's okay. This is fine. No. Oh, I got hit. Okay. And I'm on a cooldown, so I got hit twice. Now we can switch 
these out. There you go. I like to have. I like to have my spell on B. <laughs> It just makes more sense to me as a placement thing. My keybinds. I'm just kidding. I'm using controller. Got some ingots. What a shame. Got hit a few times. You know what? We're fighting everybody. We're fighting Thanagers. I'm fighting everybody because we need to be more aggressive. I need more bonuses so I can have more health. I need to survive. I want a wee. Oh gosh, why was that such a slow attack? That took forever. Okay, you're dead. Oh gosh, I got hit again. Awesome. Nope. Okay. Almost got hit again. Mr. Clean! Do something! Oh gosh, okay. He does backflips everywhere he goes. That was good. Uh, we beat him in like seconds. I don't know what the hell happened though. Let's find out who he is. Who is this guy? Uh. A Sorrow Termination grants you plus 40 mana regen? Like, yeah, what? You know how slowly I'm going to be getting killing them? Uh, whatever. I mean, it's fine, but I mean, you kill like three or four. Is that in addition? Does it stack? I mean, what are, we, what are we talking about here? The Employee Handbook. Let's see. Enemies, employees. Okay, no, maybe he's in there. It was Mr. Clean, right? Leon Clean. The janitorial thanager, the ghoul known to the company under the name of Leon Clean, is said to have lived a full life during his time in the mortal world. In fact, the neurotic minions in the Hall of Eternity have even admitted, through gritted teeth, that Leon led an exceptionally fruitful life, which led to a somewhat premature arrival in the company. Leon is so strong and vigorous, despite his total lack of life force, that he, lives the t that he leaves the tiles shining brighter than ever. Apparently, he was a legend on Earth. A man with a flawless, shiny, bald head who could overcome even the most severe grime with a little bit of elbow grease and a winning attitude. No way. This is Mr. Clean. We are literally fighting Mr. Clean. That is awesome. Lore. Shop. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I got tagged up quite a bit from a damage perspective. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Ne never mind. I'm awesome. I was unscathed. The scythe deals more damage. 200 anima. Ugh. These are all lame. I don't like any of these. I just don't like them. They're not good. Security station, Brad. We are not fighting B. Proudfoot. And I'm glad because that would be pretty tough. The reason why I said, you know what, I want to fight most of the Thanagers. I did say all, but I'm re retracting said statement. I want to get more bonuses. Uh, I thought that I'd get more than just a curse. I thought I'd get actually some like max anima, but a health upgrade, but I didn't get it. Unbelievable, Brad. Could you seriously, can't you see I'm drowning in work here? Oh yeah. Oh, no iframes, cool. Twinsy for you. What work are you planning to drown in exactly? Filtering souls, boss? That's it. That's what we pay you for. 
secret agent brand. Applies an effect when a scythe or a cloak weapon strikes an enemy. Ooh, I like that. Why do I have so many rerolls? Uh, where where did I get all the cursed rerolls? Is it because I leveled up so many times? I have made it to the end multiple times, but I do die. So I level up like you know two or three times, essentially every run. Eh, I'd say one to two times every run. It's been a little more. It's been a little heavy. Why aren't you working? I don't want to gain three anima, that's kind of a waste. I'd rather just use a little scrubby one here. I guess those only take blue anima. Oh, look at that. A great trade-off, an excellent trade-off, if you will. We're going to the Industrial Pollution Department to face off with Gordon Grimes. And along the way, let's see, Industrial Pollution. I don't know who we'll fight. I think I've seen where it's like something Slima, or it's like X something something. I don't know, it's a weird name. I've seen uh, the Fanager room. I've just bypassed it like every time. Oh, you're cheap. Getting my thirst back on so I can survive this. Nope, nope, nope. Jerks. Jerk. Uh oh. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, couldn't get out of there. The cooldown is real. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, Solary. I mean, let's get some more curses. I'll collect Solary along the way. Um, probably still need a good 150. Dante. Foolishness. Ooh. I guess it's not as cool now that like we've cleared the entire group. But the floor. That's fine. This is fine. Uh Ceasefire gains 25% cooldown. And if you use frozen. Uh, I want all of this. Please have good choices, please. The Sullied heal themselves. That's fine. I don't even know who they are. I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know you. Curse reroll department, spell store, Vita Man. I need more help. I think I'm at like 95. Um, I think the most I've ever seen is maybe 200. But I was... Getting a lot of floors that were specifically Vita Mana focused. I don't know if that'll happen again. Still died though. Still couldn't quite beat time. I guess a jerk. No, oh, okay. Lovely. Still took a hit. Desperately trying to avoid one from above. Is this, um, wow, that, that, that's way stronger. Okay, I didn't know that. Shakespeare's way weaker than the javelin. I didn't know that. Give me my ingots. So now, my termination slashes are going to have uh, a frozen infusion to them, which is really nice. Oh, gosh, what do I do? Whatever, man. We're fighting these fools. There's got to be a bonus to fighting them. I mean, curses are okay. I, I, some of them actually are detrimental, but there's got to be a purpose to fighting the Thanagers. Like, what's, what is the benefit of fighting a Thanager? Oh, 
What? <laughs> uh, what are you? Oh, you're one of those. Okay. for the win. X4 insight. Okay, let's get some insight on this guy. What the heck is this? Uncontrollable production management mutagen. Some of the minions that roam the halls of the industrial pollution department may be even more monstrous than usual. This might be because of a non-negligible quantity of an extremely toxic substance that, well, that was misplaced in 1959, known as Solution X4. It is a complex mix of fungal acid, oleum, and the terrifying chemical X, 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 formulated to achieve peak production capacity. Its secondary effects on cognitive ability may, can be measured by the volume of drool produced by a blobby after mistakenly ingesting X4. So this is a blobby on chemical X, essentially. Yes. I, I get gold anima for beating that. I don't, I don't understand. That doesn't seem good enough for me. <laughs> I don't want to decrease my scythe damage. I love my scythe. They all have penalties. Like I'm, I'm gonna have to choose. I'm a coward. So I can do that. Wait, was there something over there? I will not. I fought two Thanagers. Like, we're literally just saying, look, let's do this. You want to fight? Let's go. And we've we've won, but, I mean, I don't feel like the benefit. So now, when I get hit, someone's going to get shocked by, or electrocuted. They're going to get shocked by lightning. Oops. Scary. Curse. Reap. Oops, that was close. Come here, bub. You, you, you. Get over here. Now, if he would have hit me, he would have got electrocuted. I'll have you know. Firebell. No thanks. I don't like the bows, the bows suck. They don't seem powerful enough, even though they usually say they have good damage numbers. And their uh, cooldown is incredibly long. It, it is this is criminal, if you will. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Oh. Poison mist. Ooh, oh. Oh, gain one charge? Osha memo, a note from Osha, how delightful, contains one curse. Why is it so cheap? Cancels out a hit received. 20%, 20, 20 second cooldown. Soul armor <laughs> sounds amazing. I'm just looking to see if any one of those were amazing, but no, Soul Armor sounds really good. I will buy that all day, sir. Thank you. May I have another? Golden Anima. You know, I wish the cat upgraded my shop permanently, but the little bastard, he just wants Prismium, you know? You give him a little Prismium, he just wants more. Yeah, you know, what can he say? What can he do? All right, here goes. Who are we fighting? Gordon Gordon Grimes. Soul Armor. Cancels out one hit. That's huge. And roguelites, anything that cancels out or nullifies damage or even has a chance of doing that is massive. I've noticed the very unwelcome presence of Boomas all around here. I hope the department's next strategy doesn't rely on blowing everything up. I don't know what you're talking about. Admit it. It would burst the speculation bubble and get rid of your wimpy management.
even on the hits that get cancelled out, it still counts as retaliation. That's great. Right, whenever he gets back into the fight. Got hit there that time. Actually hit me that time, buddy. DPS. Damage per second, baby. Well, I have serious doubts about your ability to manage the situation, Gordon. You and the Boomas both need to blow off some steam. How can you compare us? I'm pragmatic, that's all. Goodbye. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Spells temporarily gain to plus 10% damage upon casting 5 stacks. I mean, I'm loving this. Now I just want to get another spell. I mean, the Javelin's good, but... I would certainly change it out for a more powerful spell. Um, Piercing Ray, Makeshift Rockets, those are the only two I can recall, but those. Wouldn't let me select it, that's fine. I forget. Physical Illness Department. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I've not, I've not been here before, but I have. This is where Hector Crank is, so we'll be facing off with the crab himself. See how we fare against doctors. The balls. Good to see you there, buddy. There's more. Okay. Like this. No, I'll sell you. I'll sell you all day, but I'm not gonna equip you. I don't think I've used it once. Focus on one silly enemy. Lovely. That doctor caused me to get hit twice. For that he must pay. Took a lot of damage there. Don't like that. They're just pushing at the bows, man. No. Pushing the bows. I'm gonna wait to see if I get more anima. Oh, we're definitely going to the spell store. Yeah, we're gonna go to the spell store because if I can get a better spell like the ones I mentioned earlier, I really liked Piercing Ray. That was good. Uh, and Makeshift Rocket is fantastic. At least the super is. The hex or the ultimate. I need some coffee, so I'm gonna go and kill everybody on this floor. Where's the doctor? Ah, oh, it doesn't cut it. I just won't cut it. I need coffee. Okay. Down we go then. Who hit me? Oh, I got blown up. Okay. Ran right into that, didn't I? There's 
This dude just keeps spawning his little brethren. He gave me coffee. Ooh, we get plus 25 HP. And that's way cooler than this. Yeah, okay, sorry. Javelin kind of sucks. What? Temporarily gain mana regen while temporary. <laughs> what? Temporarily gain mana regen while temporarily increasing your max HP and max mana. Temporarily. Serenity increases stacking by plus one. The cost of casting your spells is considerably reduced for a limited time. Yikes. But I mean, Libra's Skulls is. is mm. Just in case I can find a way to pull it out of the storage, you know, my cell slot, then I'll do it, but. I don't think I can. Gotta stay hydrated. I guess we go mana department, you know? For the curse rerolls, I, I just opted out for that because we're gonna get penalties at some point. I mean, that's just, that's just gonna happen. Whoops, I forgot all about the... <laughs> me changing out my weapon. That was scary. Lovely. These doctors are just about the most annoying characters in the frackin' game. I don't like them one bit. And they don't get stunned very easily. <laughs> Got me anyways. Is this the Rapperier? Ooh. See, but I just I'll give up my max HP and I don't feel like doing it. See folk, Serenity would go good with other stuff. <laughs> we'll go for the Prismium deposit that we get a guaranteed um, upgrade on the Scythe, the Twinsy Scythe, as if we see a control room, which I'm pretty sure we will. Pretty optimistic. Who just won't die? This dude's invincible. Get that huge upgrade. I think that's a man upgrade. I don't even know what that is. He's gonna get hurt me, and he. I have to kill him now. At least he can get all confident next time. I think he can hit me whenever he wants. Topped off my health with a little coffee. Prismium, is that you? Such a satisfying sound to break those steels and get that. Oh, this guy. I don't I don't want to fight him. If I don't have to. He's he's hard. He's killed me so many times. Whatever. I haven't seen the benefit yet of defeating these fools. Not one. I haven't seen one benefit. Uh, 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that was scary too. That's just a slam down. Okay, okay, we got this. This guy. Okay, I gotta stay behind you then, buddy. Oh my gosh, that scared me. It still hit me because the freaking iframes in this game suck. Gotcha. That one's all about placement, but I did use all of my health, so, you know, that kind of sucks. And I got two blues out of that. Gosh, that's sucky. That is sucky. Scythe deals more damage at the cost of... Each rush consumes 30. What's a rush? Oh, no way. No way. I have to pick that, though. Uh... I get it back really quick, though, but that's, that's really bad. Oh, that's bad. I don't like that. That, may <laughs> that makes me nervous. Jacoby! Yeah, we'll do this. Then we shall do this. Then we shall leave. Talk to you. Spend some Prismium. Extra damage to Thanagers. Love that. Alright, got H Crank. H Crank is, uh, you know, you know. He, he's very hard when it gets to the point where he starts doing his melee attack. He does like this melee, almost like a. If you'd use a rapier, he's like doing like this lunging motion and thrusting motion and then he jumps backwards so it's really hard to predict because it's so fast when he does it like three times in a row are you crazy hitting denzel he was supposed to become my sorrow viral diseases what do you have against this project well it's simple you're not allowed to go over my head <laughs> He hit me from up there. That right there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Barely at half health. That attack. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, we got him. That was intense. We have to follow administrative procedures, Hector. No getting around it. I'm important around here. I need to take initiatives. I'll take the initiative of sticking you in the mailroom for all eternity. He's like, not that. Anything but that. Alright, let's see what we got. Ugh. Oh, man. I don't like any of these. See, Rush is already hurt, so... Uh... Thanagers, because I'm not gonna fight any more Thanagers at this point. So that's fine. I won't be fighting anymore. Uh, I haven't seen the benefit, really. 
Um, I typically have around this much health as it is. Um, anywhere from 150 to 170. So I don't think I've gained anything. What, what you have in here, buddy? Refill the fridge. Ooh. A good payoff. I got two for the price of one. We're gonna go to the modern warfare department, survive it as best we can. We don't have a good ranged ability necessarily. Vibrous skulls are good for kind of like a little AoE. So if you're up close dealing some melee damage, it's an excellent addition to the combo, but that is about it. Fire! PK fire! Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a cheap shot. A cheap shot, I tell you. thing where somehow it hurts me if I hit him. How am I get it through? A little missy. To be as tanky as they are, those guys don't give you anything. Solar is okay. Another thing is, the soundtrack's really good in this game. Like, very good. Yo, Excalibur, do something! Is this guy not dead yet? Okay, there you go. Get wrecked. Got hit anyway, so that's cool. Bad attack. I don't like when you do that. First reroll, that's fine. Need to get some health back though. I have a huge, huge um, HP gain. So with the Slay More, I believe, and this is the one I have specifically, um, it allows you to gain like plus five health upon termination. So that's great during those kinds of rooms. Um, but once you're out of those rooms, you know, like uh, like those little gauntlets or the little arenas, it just doesn't give you the same benefit, you know? The same benefit you'd have. Like so if you're in a facing up with a sorrow, for example. They don't spawn enemies, so you don't really get that benefit upon termination because you have to just beat the soul target. So, I mean, sometimes they'll spawn some enemies, like Crank will, like those little baby, those little baby crabs, but that's about it. You know? So it's not a big lift, like you see elsewhere. We'll leave that coffee there just in case we take some damage. We'll leave that coffee there as well. This cop. You tried it. You tried it, buddy. This makes clearing the rooms a lot better, though. At least the floors are easier to clear with this increased max health. I do like that. So maybe the inevitable time department won't be as scary as it usually is, because I'm pretty much terrified the entire time we're fighting. Mr. Osha. Wow, no penalty? Are you, are you sure you don't want to harm me in some way? 35% is not bad. 
We'll go to the shop, because we got a free floor, and maybe we can get a better spell. Uh, Libra skulls are not bad, but they're not necessarily the best. <laughs> Y'all are pushing that javelin, aren't you? The scythe gains 25% chance of critical. Okay. I'll be your huckleberry. Uh, oh, no thanks. Solary Prismium, that way we can replenish some that we just spent, and maybe we'll get a control room before. Uh, I am going to skip the Thanager, though. I'm not going to fight it. Fight. It's Sea Flage, probably Camo Flage, right, or something like that. Because we are in the Modern Warfare Department, it would make sense to have an enemy that camouflages, and you know what? It would make sense to not fight that enemy, if you're me. Come on, buddy, shoot me. Huh. That was easy, but it took forever. You know, after I played Enter the Gungeon, I, I played it for a, a large part of the month of July, and it was about two weeks or so that I ended up completing all the challenges, doing all the stuff. And I still played more. I still play it. It's my favorite roguelike to this day. Even better than Dead Cells to me, and that's really hard to say, but I've accepted that it just is. But uh, anyways, so when I played that, after a while you start learning the layouts of some of the rooms, even if they are procedurally generated, you kind of just get used to them. And the same goes for, you know, as long as you get confident and comfortable with the game and you play enough, you start learning it. So, of course, with Dead Cells, I learned it. Um, and then, uh, additionally, with Enter the Gungeon, I, I even knew where the enemies would spawn. And in this game, you, you, there's even less, you know, uh, randomness, I'd say. Like, the procedural generation is a little bit more predictable. So, I can say, ah, oh, I've seen this, I've seen this layout before, if you will, you know? So, it's kind of neat. Kinda neat. No, buddy. Really, guys? Must you be such pests? They must. Okay. Jerks. These guys. This room never ends, by the way. Got my solary, now I can go ahead and head off to, yes, the control room, perfect. So another free floor, that's two free floors in this room, uh, we got a shop and a control room. You know, I haven't seen a relaxation area uh, since like the first time I unlocked it and then, and the last stream, which was, I think we skipped it. The twinsy. Even more damage. We don't have enough. Why did I do that? I could have done 125 there and then prison. That's fine. That's fine. I, I screwed up there. I should have and could have and should have could have uh, definitely upgraded my scythe. It's okay. And then use the prismium for the other stuff. We're going to try and... I rushed here so I could use my max HP benefit for... As long as I can. We need to test the new BR-14 nuclear warhead. Intern, intern! 
Not the intern. Me. I can already tell this missile is going to suck. We've seen that before. Because he wants to use Pump Gwen. Oh no. You know, I didn't deal any damage to the dude. Stop. He's like mid flight. Okay. Now he's pissed. You can do that ride the pony thing. Okay. What does this do? Ow, 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 ow. I had a small window there and I screwed that up. Come back. He's not spewing the extra projectiles. Which, that's good. Oop, he made that fly. I'm screwed. Die, somehow. Okay, well, we're not doing the best in the health department and we have no anima. And Death, of course, says, don't mess with Pump Quinn, okay? We know this. We've seen it before. Oh, I'm pissed. Okay. Alright. Ceasefire triggers a violent explosion. That's 10 seconds. That's a long time. Wow. Frozen deals 250 damage when applied during 10 seconds with the E. All interface elements are hidden. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Maybe like the cooldowns and stuff? I don't know. Why would they hide the HUD from me, the jerks? Okay, so we need anima. Uh, we will go to a break room, so I think I have enough cash to maybe buy one. I am just, you know, a bit, a tad hurt. Strapped for cash. Please do something magical. Oh god, that's not necessarily what I was hoping for. Yikes. Okay, we're screwed. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I have no ranged attack and no anima. Now, we will get a prismium here. Down below, I believe. a free prismium. I think there's a control room here. I mean, there have to be, right? Oh, come on. I'm so mad. Prestigious anima deposit. Yes! If I can survive this, I get three golden anima. I need this so bad in my life. Please. You're frozen. What are you doing? Oh gosh. A little too strong for my taste. What the hell is that? Okay, we're just gonna go this way then. Okay. Where's my 20 second bufferoo? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh.
way better when you're slow. I like that. I know nothing about these guys' attacks. I'm just trying to survive here. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Are there spikes here? Oh my gosh. Yes, there are. My 22nd thingy is really awesome. I'm gonna save that for later. Yikes, if I can even grab it. Oh gosh, come on. Okay, not to do. Oh, no, 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 that's cheap. Okay, I gotta wait. Wow. Oh, okay, this is it. One? <laughs> what a cheap room. Oh my gosh. Prestigious Anima, and you give me one. Spell store, I can only hope that I get a better spell. I didn't think I even used Vibrous Skulls, but a few times. Oh, man. I'm just so focused right now, guys. You see that, though. I know you do. Need the bloodthirst, need this. Some good spells, man. Wait, 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 wait. There's probably something good up here. Okay, let's go up here. I'm gonna waste my blood there, though. Which I really shouldn't do. There's nothing here. benefit from my bloodthirst. I did pick up some quantum solary. Oh, it's no better than what I have. What a terrible spell, considering the ones I have at my disposal. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Should have probably gone for the curse, to be honest. The mana department, that's not what I should have done. Going to the mana department, and I have a subpar spell, eh, that wasn't very smart. I just figured the room might be easier, to be honest. Slaymore has been clutched, though, with Freeze. Hit by that? Slow as that attack was. Oh, I can't believe I get hit by that.
What is happening? They're like splitting time and space or something. <laughs> Alright, I got a replacement anima, which is wonderful. Wowzers, okay. This is rough, guys. So rough. I have a Prismium. Ugh. Probably should have gone to the shop, though. I don't know. I don't know. Damage of sorrows, yeah, I'll do that. We can do that. That's already maxed out. I don't think I have enough. I have just enough, okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Time is an absolute jerkwad. I don't know how I'm gonna beat him with one anima. Oh, gosh. And my attack makes me like jump up in the air too, so I'm gonna have to use my library skulls way more. Oh, my gosh. And I'm back to 215 health. This is Oh, I can do that? That's huge. Okay, just don't be dumb like that. That should be okay. Oh my gosh, we got the Bridgets. What is the Bridgets? Oh gosh, what is that? Do we? Do, why is there another curse? <laughs> if there's a curse room, that probably means there's another enemy. Which is not good. What are the Bridgets? Explain that. I can't believe we beat them though. The Bridgets, Thanagers working in the mail department, oh gosh. To manage the sprawling mail and chronology department of time's department, you need one dedicated to each, this is a Thanager. This is just a Thanager, this isn't time. Oh my gosh. Okay, to manage the sprawling mail and chronology department of time's department, you need one dedicated to each company. The three charming filing clerks, Bridget, Bridget, and Mary Bridget, boast that they are the scream of the crop when it comes to knowing all Death Inc.'s confidential files by heart, from the tips of their steely scissors. They like being part of the three Bridgets, the fiery shrews who don't shy away from any administrative formality, no matter how ten tendentious. They are feared and respected even in the mortal world, where they are often known by their names Morai, Parquet, Norns, Triplets, etc. Hmm. Okay, so this is terrible, terrifying because. Oh my gosh. I don't have any. Do I go to a break room? Can I go to a break room? Oh no. There's more. I have another fight ahead and I have one hit left pretty much. 64 damage, probably two hits. I'm terrified. Please give me a break room. Nope. This is time. That is time. Father time. Time. Ah, well it was about time. Ha <laughs> ha. You're only slightly late for the final problem. My first is in ground but not in sky. My second clue is your mirror. I'm... What? Enough. I couldn't care less about your titled riddles time. I should have known you were behind this two-bit conspiracy. Oh, come now, old friend. I came up with that one especially for you. I guess I need to finish the sorrows work for them then. Come and try, you filthy traitor. Oh my gosh. This is time. This is time. Oh, 
those have homing capabilities. Okay. I'm dead. Ugh. Oh my gosh. So there was... The whole time that I thought I was fighting time, I was facing off with his Thanagers. This is not good. Dang. Still level 14. I can't believe it. He's very doable though. He doesn't deal nearly as much damage as the Bridges, to be honest. Man, this is bad. This is attempt number 13. The performance review gave us a score of 2217. The runtime was 37 minutes and 15 seconds. And we got to one, two, three, four, five departments and faced off with time himself. That was awesome. Uh, we did have 215 HP. We went with the fully max out Slaymore, which is fantastic. The Libra's Skulls, you know, could have I could have replaced those with a better spell, but sadly there just wasn't one on this particular run. We had a lot of red curses, a lot of spells, a lot of green curses as well, and I have no clue what those bottom four little thingies are, but we had those too. And probably the penalties. <laughs> Man, I think that that was an excellent run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. If you want more content like this, when you like it, it helps me know that you want me to continue making this series because I'm absolutely loving it. I've also started a series with Brotato, another roguelite, so we have two going simultaneously. And guess what? Blood Blasphemous 2, sorry, is right around the corner. Um, anyways, I just want to say thank you all so much for always supporting me. Uh, your viewership is always appreciated, but if you want to support me in a more personal way, I do have a Ko-fi page and a Patreon, which are linked in the description down below and on screen now. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out. I'll catch you guys then.